Hey, hey, happy day. If a bear attacks you, words coming to you from your wiser advisor, if a bear attacks you, lay down, lay still, and play dead. It's a practice run because in about two minutes you will be dead. Just say, and if you're in Canada, you can say, prime mistake, thanks a lot for that. I'm not allowed to carry a gun, bear spray, kind of, sort of, maybe if I can fill out all the forms. U.S. today, President Trump, Second Amendment supporter, yay, 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 bear, boomity boom, boom, bye, bear. Did you get all that? Hey, stick with me because we got more stuff for you. The prime mistake in Canada, you know what? He's got this thing going on. I got caught. I'm sorry that I got caught. I ain't sorry that I did it. It's like robbing a bank. I'm sorry I got caught, but, 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 but here's the money back. And then we're all good, right? <laughs> I gotta say, I, you know, just repent, repent, repeat, repeat. This guy, he keeps doing it. I mean, he does bad things. Recently, it's $900 million that he gave to this group, right? A charity group, and he's rejigged the whole place. And prior to that, he's given millions and millions of dollars. A couple of years ago, he gave $1.8 million, and then his mother came and spoke, and all of his family members and friends, they're raping the country. Treason. Wow. I mean, the rape in the country. Hundreds of zillions of dollars. Zillions of dollars. Like there's billions going to other countries that you know there's a kickback. Probably kind of sort of maybe. Who's looking into this? I mean, this guy. And he's kind of like Teflon. Someday people will wake up and say, hey, what's going on? We're kind of like Venezuela now. I mean, jail would be good. I, I, I mean, wow. If not, do a crayon farm, which would be an insane asylum. And that would be for us, for the voters, because he uh, he's the people vote for this guy. I just don't get it. Nobody gets it. He's raping the country. He, he's just driving it into, a, I don't know, it's morally and ethically bankrupt under his leadership and, and soon to be financially as well. You know, liberal governments, though, they do know, and that's him, they do know how to grow their model. They fund companies, corporate welfare is what it's called. Some take money and pretend they don't even get it, right? Others turn into socialist extensions and additions to socialist governments like the CBC and so on. Then you have law laws, that's another example. They live on taxpayer money effectively. Sure, they make money, but they only make money selling groceries because the government buys all of their equipment for them effectively, right? It gives them rebates and everything because they're in the agriculture-related businesses. And, you know, they act like they earn it. They preach leftism and they act special. And they should just sell eggs and milk and be quiet, okay? The latest gig is to uh, preach about racism. You got guys that are running grocery stores that are talking about racism and everything, right? Ugh. I mean, what do they know about stuff? Oh, they're the appointed. I mean, these are families that, that uh, in Canada, you have the Westons of Bronfman and so many others that have, have reaped zillions of dollars from taxpayers. And now they preach to people, right? And they're all liberal. I mean, they're all libs. And, and, uh, and they get their money. Originally, they got it from the peasantry, you and me. And, and it always is annoying to watch that. You have a country that, again, is bankrupt ethically, morally, and, and financially effectively. And you got people doing their stuff. Systemic racism. What does that mean anyway? I mean, racism, I get, I, I know the word, I, I understand the word. This other word, I don't, I don't know it. What genius coined that term and so many people are using it today. I, I think the two words have different meanings and they shouldn't even be together. It's kind of like progressive conservative. In Canada, they used to use that to describe a, a party, a political party. Progressive means left, conservative means right. It's kind of like a virgin hooker, right? You stay in different things and, and I don't know, systemic racism. Whatever. And then you've got the leader of the NDP party in Canada. That's, of course, code for extreme socialist, right? And, and he's saying that uh, the intruder recently who went into Ottawa, I think it's, if I pronounce it correctly, Rydal, Rodal Hall, where the prime minister was staying temporarily and the governor general is there as well, is my understanding. And, and this guy went on to say, uh, if the intruder had been a person of color, the outcome of the events would have been different. What does that mean? How, how do you know that? I mean, you don't know that. I think you're saying that if he was a person of color, black, somebody would have shot him and killed him instead of just arresting him. He was a white soldier with mental health problems. Would there be a difference? I don't know. What, 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 what kind of a projection is that? What does that do to the country? I know, kind of stirs things up. Why don't you go hide in a corner and be quiet and stop all that bloody stirring? Then you slip over to the United States of America. You got President Trump. He's in the news all the time for doing goofy things. 
Rarely do you hear about the good things that he does, and he does dozens and dozens of good things all day, every day. I don't know how he does it. I don't know where he finds the time. He's so busy fighting with people, but just recently he signed an executive order that prioritizes skills and knowledge, not simply academic uh, and degree reasons, intellectual stuff, as qualifications to have employment with the federal government, right? The federal government will no longer be narrowly focused on where you went to school. They're only now going to be focused on the skills and the talents that you bring to the job. Holy, now that's profound when you really, really look into that. It's great, great profound. I like it. And then you got the people in Orange County, <laughs> California, and they're making me mad. These, well, they make me mad all of the time, but particularly now because they want to change the name of the airport in the county, uh, John Wayne Airport. I've flown in and out of John Wayne Airport a zillion times. If you do change it, I want to buy the statue. John Wayne, I mean, every little communist jerk. Uh, hey, who said that? Should be forced. Uh, forced. Don't oh, force you, oh, oh, but you should, to watch a John Wayne show. Man up, cowboy up, and if you watch a John Wayne show, you might get the flavor of life, right? I mean, good grief, don't apologize, it's a sign of weakness, John Wayne. Many good quotes, but now they want to change the name. Why? Oh, a couple of Democrats are and they're saying, you know what, John Wayne said a couple of things. He had one movie in World War II when they're going to attack Japan and he referred to those guys as little yellow people. Okay, it was war. It was 1940. Get over it. I don't know that that was their reference particularly, but one of them anyway. <laughs> and then in, uh, in uh, Seattle, you have now training on, on uh, racial superiority for white people. So if you're white, you have to go and take a course. And they tell you how dumb you are and how bad you are and how crazy you are because you're white. And you're a bad person. Wow. And, and part of the course is a Marxist re-education system, right? So the white government employees in the city of Seattle uh, will get it. You've got to wake up, come out of the ether, and, and be a commie. Boy, oh boy. Sometimes, you know what? It's hard for me. Um, I pretend to be normal. But it's so hard in this environment, in the world we live in. So I just got to go back to being myself. And those are crazy people. They're all nuts except me and you. Hey, and lately, I'm a little worried about you. Y'all come back here tomorrow. See ya.